Hello from ChinaShare.com, this is Mark Chou Si. Today I'll be reviewing the Cold Steel Shanghai Shadow. Uh, this is the Shanghai Shadow in Chinese, translate to Shanghai Jiying in Cantonese. <laughs> kind of a weird name. But then, uh, this is a good blade. Um, the kind of review that you can find online usually talks about how the blade is and so on. So that's the normal stuff, you can search other places for that. But here, we'll go on with some martial art and Kung Fu related um, factors about this blade. Okay, now, in Chinese we call this the dagger, the Bei Sao, okay? And uh, it looks like this with the Kung Fu weapons, okay? The double daggers, Sheng Bei Sao. And as you can see, it's like two uh, small swords and they hide in the same scabbard, okay? So this is uh, the Kung Fu version that I use, okay? There are other versions of the dagger at the base out, which one of them really looks like this with a ring here. Now, uh, when people see the ring, they start to go wild and uh, want to do all the tricks about like how to flip and stuff, okay? But then the problem is uh, in Kung Fu, if you grip like this, okay, with the thing here, with the finger, okay, it, you're going to secure it and uh, be safe. But then, you want to change from this, okay, to this, then uh, it's a problem because your fingers are locked. And so, the max you can go is about here, holding like this, and stab to the front, okay. But then, it's not practical. In uh, Kung Fu, we grip like this, okay, with the thumb pressing here and so if we want to switch to grip we use this round uh, spot okay to go into the palm here okay and then we take the blade the other way and then if we want to go the other way around we slide it backward and then use the palm to catch here and then slide okay so you go here and then you go here like this with a little uh, motion like that, okay? So that's a more flexible way to uh, hold the Shanghai Shadow. Now, I got two here. Pretty cool. Just to uh, do some normal stuff that you see, okay? Paper shaving. Uh, let's look at the edge. This is really sharp, okay? As you can see, it's really razor sharp out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. Okay, it's really sharp. Let's try the other one. See, okay, again, really like shave it. Wow, really sharp. Okay, so when you practice with the Shanghai Shadow, you must always be careful because of the sharp edge. Now, let's try some pop can test. Okay, pop can with the Shanghai Shadow. Okay, let's see how it does. Right into it. Okay, let's see this view. Just it slides through it pretty easily. Okay, and uh, another note here is that the blade, the black coating here, is really um, nicely done. And after I scratched it with the uh, pop can, it's not um, it's not scratching the coating off too. So as you can see, it's very durable. And uh, I can compare this only to the Coastal GI Tanto. Okay, uh, the quality and uh, the grip, the weight feels very alike. And uh, if you like the GI Tanto, I'm sure you'll like this too. Now